My name's Stu Hagen. I own a 97 twin turbo Targa Supra. Uh, I bought it in October 2000. And it started with my son Marshall, who grew up as a kid of the 90s and played video games, car games. And I had given him my 1980 BMW. And two months later, he sold it for a GSR. And I said, well, why did you get this card? And he started to explain to me about the import market. And I said, well, I'm looking to give me, I'm gonna, I wanna get a car, and so why don't you write down a list of the cars I should get? And so he wrote down RX-7, Supra, 300ZX, NSX, and so it was my job to go test drive all these cars, and I did. And I test drove an NA Supra, and I actually fell in love with it, and within three months, I bought one. Well, when I bought the car, I didn't necessarily wanna get a car that was a single turbo, wasn't built very well, wasn't taken care of, so I wanted to build on what Toyota designed this car to be. So all my build in the last 10 years is based on stock configurations and just making that better. Obviously the biggest one is the morphed in GT28 turbos and the stock turbo housings, which are stealth, which generates all the additional horsepower. Building the frame around that, porting all the piping, porting all the internal housings inside the turbos, the volutes and everything to get the most out of you possibly could. And then I modified the head a little bit. I put in, uh, I had it street ported, stiffer spring so I could raise the rev limit. Another item which you can't see. Then the intercooler comes just to keep the cooling down. But for the basic part, the engine is, the engine itself is pretty much stock. That's uh, the big, uh, the big horsepower gain is the modified turbos and the intercooler and the raised rev limit of the head. Well, what makes my Super, as I mentioned, is I think it's versatile because it has great street ability. It drives very comfortable, relatively quiet. It can be just a cruising car. I have uh, HKS um, Hypermax three coilovers so that if I ever want to go road racing, I crank them up, strap in the uh, harness, which is not in the car at the moment, and uh, I'm off to the road road racing, and the thing puts down some pretty good times. It's got the um, Custom designed aerofoil across the front of the intercooler, which was designed, I don't think anybody else has such a thing. It diverts all the air that comes into the intercooler up to the upper half, 50% of the intercooler, which normally the air does not hit that. Uh, as far as my future of the car, um, I had a big build in 2011 with at Ishi Motors. Thank you, Steve Ishi. I had a big build in 2012 at Ishi Motors, where we decided to detract my car totally and put it back close to factory conditions so we pulled the engine out, took everything out of the engine bay, painted and clear coated the engine bay, put in all new parts, put in different coilovers, took the harness bar out, and just decided that this is my final build. This is now a street Supra. I'm gonna enjoy it just to drive around town and I'm not gonna be taking it to the track events much anymore. I've got another car that I'm gonna be uh, gonna dedicate to that in the future. So it's, it's done its thing for uh, 12 years and now it's retiring to be uh, the cozy car. But probably hands down the best guy that has touched that car and really knows his stuff. And it's just unbelievable his uh, build quality is Steve Ishi from Ishi Motors. This guy is, uh, he's um, a super fanatic, even owned one himself in the late 90s. He knows so much about this car and if there's anybody that knows how to put a nut, a bolt, anything in this car, this guy knows what OEM stock is. He will not do anything unless he walks away saying this is the way Toyota would do it.